You know, a lot of people turn their nose up at bear meat, but it's actually one of my favorites because it's a lot like pork. And one of the best products that you can make out of bear meat is fresh breakfast sausage. I'm really interested in learning how to make some sausage because we catch a lot of salmon here, both sockeye and king salmon. Hopefully Brad can show me how to make some great breakfast sausage from this bear. While everyone else is in bed sleeping, complaining that they want uh, bear sausage for breakfast, Jeff and I here are going to go ahead and get some prepared. But great. Yeah, basically we're just going to cut up the meat a little bit because we're using kind of a smaller grinder here. But, you know, and this, this bear was just killed yesterday and a lot of times, you know, with bear meat it's very similar to pork. So you really don't need to age it that much, kind of the fresher the better, so to speak. Right, they've been just eating grass, so I would assume that the meat quality should be excellent. Exactly. It's going to be really good, so really lean meat. And then just put your seasoning right across the top, just like this. And I try to portion it out the best I can. Take just a little bit of water, and what the water does is it starts breaking down those seasonings and helping those seasonings penetrate into the meat. I've got a small portable Weston grinder with me, and I pack it in with me on every trip because you never know when you're going to need to grind something. And it has everything right there in a compact little unit, and it's really powerful. So all you need to do is mix a little bit of high mountain sausage seasoning with it, and you're ready to roll. Okay. We'll stop the grinder there, and we'll just clean this off. And Now, one thing that you will really notice whenever you're working with a grinder, and especially with one that has a smaller head like this one right here, the amount of gristle and sinew that's going to wrap around this blade right here. If you just take a second, take the head apart, you know, clean the head out, you know, and then put it right back together again, I mean, you're actually going to save yourself a lot of time and a lot of wear and tear on your machine. Right. You can see how much faster it's grinding now because you clean all that sinew out of there. But basically, all we've got to do now is take this inside and we can mix our patties up and we can uh, get them frying up here. And then when the guys wake up and finally Ready get out of go. bed, yeah, there's awesome.